you know what? Sometimes I I believe you know if something is wrong with me. You remember the the mechanic camera? So basically, I had nothing to do than uh, screw the camera. You remember we we couldn't test it because I didn't have an adapter. I don't need an adapter. All I had to do is to screw the camera in. That's all. How this can happen? So if you have this camera, I'm going to tell you what, uh, what you need. Uh, so for some reason, I didn't realize I can screw the camera in. So uh, I just put the camera here and that's all. Remember, that's how we tested. But all you have to do is to screw this camera, the camera in. Same like this one, yeah? Remember, this is my original one. I just screw the camera in. Wait a second, just now I realize. No, probably it's not my fault. Probably this ring, yeah, you can see this ring, it was stuck before uh, inside here. I have to go back to the video and, and check. Probably this, uh, this adapter, it was stuck here. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what happened. Anyway, this is a focus ring and all you have to do is to screw the camera in. The focus ring, I will show you what focus ring I have, a 0.5, and I bought it from AliExpress two years ago. Uh, orders, and I bought it from AliExpress. Now, the thing is with the price, not sure if I pay this money. I don't think I pay this money for the ring. I think now the ring got expensive. Actually, I pay 78. Okay, maybe. So that's happened two years ago. Anyway, now the ring is more expensive from uh, Rising Camp, but you can find exactly the same ring, like 12 pound um, on AliExpress. I can only assume it's the same ring. But for me, it looks the same. So uh, everything is on place. Let's check the quality one more time just to know if I will uh, switch or not. So I'm gonna plug the HDMI and the USB-C. If you ask me, uh, I would say it is worth for the money. Not sure if it's worth for me. It's possible the other one has a better uh, picture quality. So I'm going to stick the camera somewhere here. So this is the focus. I can uh, You can see the, the picture is proper sharp. So I'm going to leave and take a screenshot from here. And compare with the other one. It is possible my other one to be actually better. Of course, if you don't have a camera for 125 pounds, definitely it's worth it. That's my opinion. If I have no camera, this camera, it will be perfect for the money. Good. Let me quickly swap the camera with my old one. Okay, let me take a screenshot from here. Okay, so this is the difference. So this is the mechanic one. Of course, I can still play with, uh, with adjustments, and it's nice because it's saving the adjustments. And this is my old one. So what do you think? Hmm? I mean, there's, there is not so much difference. You, you can see like some color difference, like white balance, which you can adjust it um, from the settings. But otherwise, like resolution wise, um, are about the same. But you can see here, like exactly what I said on the first review, the polarization filter, it is on, it's turned it on. Here I can see the tracks, here I can't. And this is kind of important on the repairs. I mean, it's not important because that's the recording quality. That's something you can see. You will see. But what I'm seeing is actually I'm seeing even better than this picture because it's an optical microscope. Uh, my one has some uh, flare, not flare, how it's called, uh, aberration. Yeah, aberrations. Yeah, I, I believe that's how it's called, or vignetting. Something like that, no aberrations.
chromatic aberrations. Yeah, that's how it's called. But one important aspect is actually the angle. So this one has a wide angle compared with, with, uh, with my one. This is my one, my old one. I mean, I have, you know, my uh, my eyesight is not that great, but leave me a comment and tell me which one you should keep it. Yeah, I really love the fact actually it's a wide angle. You can have more on the, you know, pro probably I will go with the mechanic one just because of the wide angle. This one has a little bit more contrast, but I'm not happy because I'm missing details here. Well, anyway, I believe a mechanic with their camera just uh, moved to a different level, the whole industry, because you can buy 4K 60 FPS for like 125 pounds. And it's quite a good, uh, you know, quite a good one, good quality. Yeah, just um, just a short video. Just uh, you know, leave me a comment and uh, let me know. And when I'm saying, let me know what you will do. Definitely, if you don't have one, yeah, that one it's worth it. It's no advertising. Yeah? I'm not giving you links. Buy it from if you want to buy it. If you don't want to buy it, don't buy it. Um, um, just let me know which one is good for me. But clearly for you, if you don't have one, um, uh, I believe you cannot find something better. That that's what I think. If you if you have like any other camera for review, I can buy it and review it. Just let me a comment. If you know any other camera camera for this kind of price, 4K 60 FPS, of course, and we can review it because maybe out there are uh, more camera cheap with uh, good uh, good quality good just have a beautiful sunday uh, leave me a comment about the camera yeah which one which one we should keep it bye